So before we get started, here is my composition settings. 1920, 1080, and then 23.976 frames. So, um, here are my raw clips with just Twixter. And so, um, first step is you want to add motion blur to both of them. And uh, next is I would add motion tiles to these. The first clip you don't really have to add motion tile but you can. It's maybe just the second one. So I'm just going to put motion tile on the second clip. And then I usually set height and width to like 200. So we're going to do our scale on the first clip. So press S on the keyboard, keyframe it, go to the last frame. And I usually set this to like 200, and I easy ease them, go to graph editor, and I usually make my graph look like this. And, and I'm going to add a directional blur just to make it look a little better in my opinion. Uh, so make sure on the last frame, I usually set this to 100, and then I go up two frames, and I set that back to zero. I'm you can easy ease the frames, but I don't really do that. I mean, it's not really needed because it's only two frames. So, and then on the second clip, you want to set the scale to 200 at the beginning on the first frame, and then I go to the end and I make this 100 and easy ease them. Graph editor, and you want to make the graph look the opposite. And then. Now we can do the positions shake part. So make sure your uh, position is separated, the dimensions are separated, and you want to keyframe the Y position on the first frame, and then go down down two frames, and then drag it down so like that the top of the clip is at the top of the composition right there, and then you want to go down four frames, and then set that set the clip on the bottom of the composition, and then go down eight frames which is at the, at the end and set that back to 540 uh, or whatever your regular position is for your composition and then easy ease them and you don't really have to edit these you just have to easy ease them and then to make the shake look a little bit better I usually add some rotation so I keyframe this and it's kind of we kind of do the same thing for the position but it's with ro rotation so then you go down two frames set this to like five um, and then you go down four frames and then set it to uh, around negative three and then go down eight frames which is the last frame for me and then set it back to zero and then easy ease these and then to finish this up I would add a directional blur to this clip too but at, at the very beginning set it to 100 and then down two frames and then back to zero and then that is it.